dude for the second time. That's an S rake, not a triple rake. Damn, dude. 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 Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. What's going on, guys? I hope y'all are doing well. I am going to chat a little bit about... Uh, what am I talking about? Picks. Yes. Thanks to... Our wonderful viewer here, uh, I can't remember his name now, I was too busy doing other things, but let's see, what, what was his name? Big Dipper 14. So, that changes things, I gotta go, hold on, just one second. Damn, dude! We're gonna talk about picks, and, and specifically, kind of an update video for my Sparrows pick, which has gotten far more views than I ever thought would it would get but um I'm, yes i'm gonna do an update video on that because it has been uh probably over a year now <laughs> i'm not really prepared to this video as far as the timing and all that but i know it was over a year old so i'm gonna go ahead and update you i'm gonna go ahead out to my vehicle and get my pick kit out y'all have seen this if you watch any of my other videos you know that my pick kit is in a pouch that i hang from doorknobs when i'm opening houses and stuff and uh, I have uh, taken some of those Sparrows picks, since this is pretty much in response to that Sparrows video. I'm tired of holding my camera. Um, oh, hold on. I got itchy nose. Um, since this is in response to that video, I'm going to talk about what I'm using out of that kit. I did not use the case at all. The case was... It's somewhere over there. I don't use it. I always thought maybe I could find a better use for it, like drill bits or something. Whatever the case is, anything in there just gets dumped out. My hair is doing something funny today. Anything in there just gets dumped out. So, you know, and I don't really keep a spot on my bench for picks besides just in a pile. But the funniest thing about that video is the number of comments that it's gotten. As far as me calling the uh, pick that I use all the time, the triple rake. <laughs> so, I'm gonna show you my triple rake. Y'all have seen this in other videos. This is my pick kit. We have two picks in the front. One of them's a hook. One of them is the triple rake. And it is called the triple rake in the locksmith trade it has always been called the triple rake in the locksmith trade there's a double rake there's a triple rake we can even pop up images of google showing what happens when you google hpc triple rake that it's called an S-Rake. And you know what? I don't really care. Triple Rake, that's what I've called it for 20, going on 23, four years now, um, from me just ordering picks. It's a Triple Rake. Sorry you don't agree with that. Damn, dude. However, the main point of this video is not to talk about just a Triple Rake, but to talk about what I use out of that Sparrows kit. I just thought I would give my take on that. So anyway, pick kit. Uh, again, the case I got rid of. It's here somewhere. I don't know what I use it for, but uh, I don't know. I'm not using it for anything. Um, in this bag, this is just a temporary bag because I've been changing my stuff around. I've got my safe deposit box change tool, my tubular uh, pick, and decoder 
type thing. And, uh, you know, various little bags of keys that fit common stuff like uh, cabinets, you know, the C346, fire alarm panels, stuff like that. Um, a bag of keys that I also just use. And uh, this, which was sent to me by, gosh, I think, did Daryl send me this? Somebody, did Daryl, I think Daryl sent me this. This is a, a, I guess a tuxedo or whatever. Um, and it comes with these sparrow picks, but I added some extractors and a two of the hooks and one of actually one of the hooks I put one of my sparrows in. I put whatever hook that is. Whatever I call it's gonna be wrong. So um, and then these other ones, which there's a few thin ones in there. Now I really haven't used these a lot. I've used a couple of the tension wrenches, but and then I added extractors which these if you need to get a broken key out this is really all you need one of the main ones there's the sawtooth which i think i've got a i think i've got a sawtooth one in here somewhere these may all be spirals yes they are but uh yeah just really hadn't used this this is just a pretty cool gift but really you know over here we don't come upon a lot of euro profile cylinders but it is handy to have because every so often we'll run up on a business rekey that it's needed uh with a weirder keyway this is one of my old you order this is a hpc leather like kit and i've got it full of mostly oddball stuff i've got a few of the sparrows these little bar things are supposed to open padlocks. I've never had luck with those. One of the tension bars, a couple of the turning tools, a straw, a tiny drill bit. This is a automotive pick that comes for GM 10 cut to remove ignitions. And, and we see this bar over here has fallen out. So we'll put him back. I've got a tiny magnet holding those together too. As well as uh, Allen wrenches, a poker tool, a little bitty tiny Allen wrenches, because there is a little bitty tiny pocket on this HPC kit right here that holds these little fellows really well. And uh, so I don't know why I have jigsaw blades in here and a punch, pin punch, and some best tension tools to uh, pick to control and this is what I'm about to have to use this is my backup for my spinning my uh, spin tool <sighs> plug spinner <laughs> this is the I believe the only one I've been able to find spring steel it's got this little quarter twist in it this gets clamped up in my um, Plug spinner, my old, what I believe to be writing, but it's old metal. And uh, that I'm going to have to use soon because if y'all have watched any of my recent videos, I've been having a little bit more failures with my plug spinner and uh, then a card to, you know, Lloyd door. Lloyd, I love that word, Lloyd. Go ahead and get my camera mounted here and angle it correctly so that. Not, well, you can be distracted by all the shiny padlocks, which I have not put up yet. So um, in here, I have these two. I'm not going to fully open this because it's there's a lot of little stuff in here. Two of my, uh, one of them is modified for thinner. Like right there. I don't know what I modified that for. Probably padlocks. And this one is slightly modified. And uh, this one is heavily modified. Um, but yes, they do. Hanging off here, I've got a couple of slim simplex or uh, DTEX keys. And uh, there we go. Let's zoom the camera in here. We can just look at it pretty quick. So it really has not changed from what it has always been. We've got a whole bunch of bump keys there. Go ahead and straighten it a little bit. Very loose. Now this I had uh, long ago.
transferred it from my Maxpedition to this VanQuest, which has slightly bigger and off-center slots than the Maxpedition has. And it is a slightly bigger pouch, so it does hold a little bit more. However, I am definitely not fond of this. I, I believe, even though Maxpedition's is tight, if they would just increase their mini just a bit to make it a little bit bigger, not go all the way longer like they have bigger pouches. I hadn't pouch shopped in a while. But uh, uh, this, with these big old pockets that are kind of loose like this, just not fond of the VanQuest. So... Um, eventually maybe I can uh, downgrade a few of them and uh, switch back to a new Maxpedition. I do have a camouflage one that it was never really used, so I might switch to that, but I'm not a big camo person. I prefer black. So HUD keys, here is my pretty old fella uh, rotation tool. This works really well on... Uh, uh, mortise cylinders on door storefront doors and quick set knobs that aren't recessed and i tuck him in just like that we have uh some just bits got a broken key from somebody's place here i've got a little bit tiny plug follower just as like an emergency that comes with gms everest i think style locks to hold the thing in a uh, drill bit a couple of pairs of tweezers, and I will point out, I have not switched these out. These are my M Heart tweezers, so these are nice collectible fellows. However, one of my local subscribers brought me this for Christmas. It is a Sparrows pen tweezers, and I've mentioned in a tweezer video before that I have never been overly fond of, quote, pen tweezers. This is the M Heart one. A very small pen. You could use that for little bit tiny pens. Way tinier. And then the Sparrows, which is looks like just for larger pens. But anyway, I'm gonna do a new tweezer video. But I've, as I've mentioned, and I'll mention in that video, and he knows, but um, I always prefer the sharper ones. But we'll go into that in detail down the road, but I appreciate that. We've got a warded key here. Just one. Uh, of course, my corkscrew is still in here. You cannot say you can open anything if you cannot open a bottle of wine. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, last time I mentioned that thing, people were like, when's the last time you use that? I use it all the time. And uh, Ford uh, wiggle keys, I guess that's what you call them. Oh, homemade. Um, yeah, that was before Lishies came out. I've got a Lishie. I've actually have, have not used my Lishies either. So these are kind of keys that I don't use a lot. Probably end up taking those out at some point, especially if I switch back. Uh, there's a Sparrows, one of the Sparrows tools. And you can see over here, I just kind of have all the picks shoved in. I'm not going to really take them all out, but here I've got magnets buried beneath this uh, stuff that don't seem to be working anymore. Um, this actually belongs in my truck. I, I guess it just fell in here. But just the usual, all, all those sparrows that I got before, I did break one of the tips on one of them. Uh, but I've got all the little tension wrenches right here with an assortment of other HPC picks and hooks and diamonds. Back here, I've got a couple of screwdrivers, a tiny screwdriver there, don't really need that. I do use, uh, hopefully the bit is down in there <laughs> for this one. And in the back, I've even got a backup kit with um, one of those little extractors. I've never used these extractors before. And uh, the kit that comes with this, I think they call it a novice kit. But also with, as you can see, one of the most important things in all kits is having key extractors so i stock every one of my backup kits with key extractors and that is pretty much it again this is just all either the saw blade extractors or if i look through here this type 
these two will do whatever you need to do as far as removing broken keys. And uh, then uh, there is a wiser shim. Somebody has, we got into a, some, uh, we had another one of those commenters that were just like, geez, you're stupid for not using the wiser shim. Yeah, I got that comment too. I'm not even gonna go into that side. There's a broken one. Ha <laughs> ha. Can't remember which one that one is. I know you guys, uh, y'all have told me that I can send it back and get a credit or something. I, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. But thanks for wanting to tell me again if you immediately thought that. But anyway, that is just an update. That is for uh, picking parasitic keyways around corners. <laughs> Gonna have to replace that fella soon. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I just figured I would update y'all since it has been a minute on uh, me showing uh, anything about, you know, how I've used them. I, I, as far as how I like the Sparrows picks compared to just using my HPC, as you can see, the two that I use that are outside of the pouch, quick grab, are these two. Still never gonna, never gonna change my opinion on this. Uh, the City Rake has been eh, okay. I'm not really fond of it. There is another thing for doing something. I don't know what I made that into for. I, I don't like their tension wrenches at all. Let's go ahead and say that. None of these, all these that come with them, they just, I guess I'm just used to this rigid, uh, the rigid style tension wrenches. You know, you get used to one thing for 25 years of playing around with locks. It's just what happens. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day. Damn, dude. Yeah, I forgot to mention. So it's like six different cards. Four Lloyd and door latches. Just thought I would point that out. Let me... This is really hard to do if you don't unzip the... Uh, oh, look, there's another uh, two and a quarter. Hey, there's one not modified. So I'm going to put one of the modified ones back in here, probably that one. And take this out, put back in the truck as well. Just have to be, see that, this is one of the worst things is these tiny, tiny little thin, super thin Allen wrenches. Oh, and in the back, I did forget, also forgot, I have a, just a thin roller. I have a couple of files, a flat one there. I uh, have a pokey, this is a watch repair tool. It came with a Harbor Freight kit, but it uh, has its uses as a pokey or whatever, stabby thing. And uh, in the very back back here, I've got my Leatherman kit, which is supposed to give you an extension. However, I really have never used this thing. So just thought I would point out the rest of it because I didn't show everything in there. But now I have, so now we're done. Now I'm gonna go put all these where they belong. And I'm on the hunt for a new bag here too. This is a <laughs> one of those buy the two at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, buy two bags. Such a cheap way to keep my good stuff. I feel very ashamed about it, but I'm in a weird transition right now, so hopefully I'll be able to clear this up soon. Okay, now I'm done. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. We'll catch y'all next video. Damn, dude!